In all the years that I have been treating people who stutter, I have found that there is one thing that is a real common denominator amongst the people who I have worked with. And that is that overall people feel embarrassed to stutter. I'm Barbara Dam and I am a clinician who has specialized in treating people who stutter for many, many years. My passion is to help people who stutter have a good quality of life and communicating with others is part of a good quality of life. That doesn't necessarily mean not stuttering. It means being a good communicator. And when you feel embarrassed, it's really, really hard to communicate fully because you're really thinking all the time, am I doing it okay? What are they thinking of me? And that interrupts your ability to focus on the conversation, on the point you want to make, on the thoughts you have. Now, it's really easy to focus on feeling embarrassed, but that we know that doesn't help. And I won't get into the reasons why people feel embarrassed. I'm not even sure what they are completely. I have to say I'm not a person who stutters, so I don't know that embarrassment myself. I can only listen to my clients and hear what they're saying. And they say that that's what they feel. From the outside, I don't see what there is to be embarrassed about. But we all like to be able to express ourselves freely. And I guess people accept stuttering as a mistake, maybe. And we don't like to make mistakes. I don't see it that way, but maybe you do. And that's the point I want to make today. It's the way you look at things that has such an effect on whether the quality of your life will be good. So, I think that it's really important to see stuttering as what it is. To change your perspective. To look at why you personally are embarrassed. Try and write down three things that you feel have to do with when you stutter and that make you feel embarrassed. And then look at them and think, are these things really worth feeling embarrassed about? What if I looked at them in a little different way how would I feel? Ask somebody else, perhaps, if they think I need to feel embarrassed because I stutter. Somebody who you're close with, somebody who you feel you can talk to. And see if maybe other people look at the fact that you stutter in a different way. So much of life is the way we look at it. Now, I know that just doing some of the neural processes that are involved in stuttering cause one to feel tense. I know because I know what they are. I can do them on purpose. And believe me, I feel tense when I do them. And it's not easy to speak in that way. So yes, there are things that you could learn to do that will make your speech much easier, more flowing, and help you to uh, concentrate better on your conversations. But 
if you decide that this isn't what i want to do, i'm not ready to make those neurophysiological changes that's fine, but find the way that you can change your perspective so that you can go into a conversation and not feel embarrassed if you stutter. Not be trying not to stutter. Not trying not to stutter will make you stutter more. That's for sure. So, you have an assignment. Look at the reasons why you feel embarrassed personally about stuttering and see if you can take each one of these three reasons, look at it from a different perspective that will reduce the need to feel embarrassed. It could really change how you're going to go into the next conversation. If you like this video, if you find my videos helpful, please give a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.